सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल दिस इज ध्रू वे आर फ्रॉम प्लस ड्राइव होप यू गाइज आर डूइंग एब्सोलूटली फाइन सो टूडे आई एम गोट टॉक अबाउट रेनो ट्राइबर द आर एक्स टी वेरियंट विच इज अ सेकेंड टॉप एंड वेरियंट सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोट टॉक अबाउट इंटीरियर एक्सटीरियर इंजन स्पेसिफिकेशन एंड फीचर्स एंड वॉट नॉट सो प्लीज आई रिक्वेस्ट यू टू प्लीज डू वॉट्स द फुल वीडियो एंड ऑल्सो सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल इफ यू आर न्यू एंड हिट द बेल आई कैन सो दैट यू डोंट मिस एनी अमेजिंग कंटेंट इन द फ्यूचर सो विद दैट सेट लेट एस जस्ट स्टार्ट विद द वीडियो so yes this is reno triber the rxt variant which is the second top variant so before providing you any information on the car i would like to thank benchmark reno at washi navi mumbai for allowing me to review the vehicle i'll also leave the number on your screen so that you can call on that number and inquiry anything about this car and also guys this reno triber is available in five variants which are rxe RXL, which are the base and second base variant, RXT and RXZ are the top end variant, and also available in RXZ Automatic Petrol, which is the extra variant of RXZ. And also, guys, the prices you are seeing on your screen are the ex showroom prices, not the on road prices. And also, guys, the car is available in five interesting color options, which are. So these are the five colors. The colors which you see over here is fairy red. Now getting back to the car, these are the car keys over here. In the top end variant, you get the smart access card. Not in the second top end variant, you get the regular smart key over here, which two buttons lock and unlock on the key itself, and the you get a Renault logo as well with piano black finish and the chrome insert over there on the uh, key itself. Now getting back to the car. Now, if you ask me, what are the changes in top end variant and second top end variant? Only some cosmetic changes like chrome and some silver inserts. The three slatted grille, same as the top end variant, which is triple edge chrome front grille over here, and also you get a projector headlamps, not with the DRLs on the lower side. In the top end variant, you get the DRLs on the lower bumper over here, and so this is the uh, second top end variant you don't get over here. Then this is the towing hook. available on the right side and also guys if you look on the lower bumper over here this is first in segment suv skid plates you get on this particular vehicle which is a very nice feature added on over here then this is a uh, washer wiper then same uh, headlamp assembly on the left side the projector headlamp and you don't get a drls on the lower bumper so overall the front of this particular vehicle looks very attractive it is more towards the family side not sporty and all so it looks very clean and simple design i really like this uh, particular vehicle design it is a 7 seater compact mpv over here not a compact one absolutely sorry to say that but this is a full size mpv best in segment now i really like the body cladding all over the four sides in this particular vehicle now if i talk about the tire size and specification you get 165 section 80r 14 inch alloy wheel over here the body cladding available on all four sides which is a very nice add on feature in this particular vehicle also on the door uh, side you get the body cladding so which is a nice thing again over here and also guys if i talk about brake and suspension front you get the disc and rear you get the drum and suspension you get macpherson strut in front and torsion beam at the rear so the riding quality will be very better and very smooth in this particular vehicle and also guys regarding the dimension it will be on your screen same as the top end variant no changes in dimensions now this is the orvm over here with single color no dual tone on the lower side you get a bit black over here then no chrome handlebar available b pillar you get in matte black then also you get a roof rails over here not the sporty kind but a simple and nice looking roof rails on the top now guys i really like this hump over here which has a very nice technical use it increases the headroom on second row and third row then this is the rxt badging on the c pillar 
then this is the body cladding on the rear wheel itself then the same tire same as the front 165 section 80 r 14 inch alloy wheel this is the radial tubeless tires and also guys Renault driver offers you 182 mm of ground clearance so no worry about the potholes and speed breakers and also very nice in again so this is the integrated uh, what do you call the spoiler available in this particular vehicle then this is a rear view of the car you get a nice uh, inspired eagle beaks uh, design rare so the tail lamps are uh, inspired from the eagle's beak which looks absolutely great on this vehicle you get a triber badging in chrome insert then the uh, Renault logo as well in chrome insert then you don't get a uh, rare defoggers in this particular vehicle high stop mount lamp you get on the top so no wiper no rare defoggers then the energy badging on the right side so those all features will be added in the top end variant then the Renault badging on the lower left side you get a parking sensors at the back three parking sensors at the back which is standard across all the variant guys and also the SUV skid plates at the rear as well which is the first in segment guys silver insert SUV skid plates I mean that is great so no worry about any you know when the car goes harsh towards the potholes or the speed breakers so no worry about that and on the lower side is the uh, spare wheel which is also a r14 inch full size spare wheel guys then guys coming to the right side no major changes you will also see the fuel lid over here under that you have 40 liters of fuel tank petrol fuel tank and the ari company claims the mileage of 20 kmpl guys which is a very nice thing then the same as the uh, right side you get a regular antenna no shark fin antenna in this particular vehicle not even in the top end variant so the regular antennas so this is about the exterior guys now i'll just show you the interior and the engine and everything of this particular vehicle so i'm done with the exterior now let us just jump inside the vehicle and see what are the interiors what are the space it is providing you and all so first thing i'll just show you the interior guys so guys over here first thing the door trim you get a black and beige door trim available on this particular vehicle on the lower side left side you get the speaker system then this is not the cheap plastic this is a quality plastic guys and the buttons are very nice uh, then this this is the speaker system on the left side then the controls for your windows and ORVMs so the buttons are not towards the cheap side it is a good I mean okay in this price range and also the handlebar not in chrome in the top end variant I guess you get it in the chrome then the one liter bottle storage over here which is again a very nice thing and also I guess the 500 ml bottle storage I guess so this was about the door trim guys now if I talk about the interior this is the stylish dual tone dashboard with black piano insert available in this particular vehicle you also get the option for silver insert then this is the key over here you don't get a smart key access card in this particular vehicle as this is a top end variant you get a nice soft cushion seat with integrated headrest guys not adjustable manually or anything so the seats are manually adjustable no nothing like that so the fabric upholstery offered in this particular vehicle is good i mean guys towards the i mean simple side guys in this price range what, what else more you want also the seats are manually adjustable so you get a headlight level or on the lower side i don't know weird place uh, i mean hard to find it but uh, as the top end variant also has this thing now i'll just get inside the vehicle and show you everything instrument cluster and all so as i'm first thing inside over here i'm very comfortable on the seats are very comfortable the under thigh support is good guys then this is the three spoke steering wheel available over here you get a nice piano finish across the dashboard also across the steering wheel itself also you get a uh, nice uh, stiff and rigid steering wheel with the leather I, not the leather one you get a nice black piano finish and chrome finish logo in the center then the black piano finish across the steering wheel three spoke steering wheel it is it looks good feels good then the steering wheel is adjustable only for the rake not for the reach so again very nice uh, good feature over here then this is the first in segment guys the led instrument cluster which looks good on this particular vehicle i mean uh, in the night time it will give you a very nice visibility towards the instrument cluster then across the ac vent guys you get the chrome insert on both the side not in the center ac vents and also you get a black piano finish in the middle part then the plastic use on the dashboard is good not towards the cheap side and also first end segment guys dual dashboard available on the top side and as well as on the bottom side gives you a plenty of storage guys this car gives you a lot of storage then the lower over here the glove box is cool storage and also guys I'll, this car offers you 
the ultra modular setting you can change the car into seven seater five seater four seater or two seater whatever you want guys according to you according to your use which is first in segment best in segment so a very nice thing according to the mpv and also guys no engine start stop button over here in the top end variant you get then this is the infotainment screen which supports apple carplay android auto aux usb and multiple functions available on this particular vehicle also offers you voice command system in this particular vehicle then this is the jet uh, type feel what you can say cockpit feel buttons available hazard button and everything you get a manual ac not the uh, auto cl climate control you don't get in this particular vehicle you have to do it manually so which is uh, towards the i mean good side it could have been better you get a storage on the lower side you can keep the phone or anything over here then this is the place where the engine start stop button is in the top end variant then you get a aux and usb option on the lower side and some space to keep your phone or any wallet or something you can keep over there then this over here this is the five speed manual gearbox knob over here which looks good you get a chrome insert and everything on the gear knob itself you get a two decent size cup holders guys as well then this is the first in segment guys you get a compartment space type something over here which has a knob inside you get a cool space over here which is a very nice thing you can keep your water bottle and all then this is a leveler for the rare ac vents also you get a handbrake the knob is in not in the chrome insert in the top end variant you get the chrome insert knob on the handbrake itself so this was about the front cabin guys it looks very spacious and nice then this is the reading cabin lights in the front you get a bluetooth receiver on the top itself beside that then the sun visors you don't get a vanity light uh, or this anything like that so only on the passenger side not on the driver side no vanity light but you get a vanity mirror then uh, this was about the front cabin guys very spacious it feels very roomy i mean 7c people can easily go on this particular vehicle for a long trip and all guys so good thumbs up from my side to reno guys so this is about the front cabin now let us just jump into the rear cabin and see what the car has to provide us in terms of space and everything b pillar and c pillar guys are in matte black you get the option for matte black and also guys you can also go with the accessory part guys which will be uh, chrome or something like that then this over here guys this is the best in class you get the sliding and reclining option in the second row which is a very nice thing guys so people sitting in the middle row can be i mean comfortable according to their need or something like that so knee room will be very great so the same door trim i really like this uh, v uh, i mean a pattern on the door trim rear door trim you get a black and beige the buttons are qualities are good and then the speaker system on the lower side on the left side you get a 1 liter bottle storage and i guess 500 ml bottle storage on the rear door trim itself as well then also guys on the middle row you get a nice adjustable manually adjustable headrest but in the front you get integrated and the seats are your seats have the reclining option as well as the sliding option which is very good guys i'll just sit inside and show you everything guys now guys as i'm inside the uh, vehicle in the rear cabin the seats are actually comfortable in the rear as well guys you have a nice under thigh support the knee room is very great guys the seats are very soft cushioned and also guys you don't get a uh, seat pocket on the driver side due to this low bump over here guys the three people can easily sit in this particular vehicle in the middle row guys because this car is designed in such a way three people can easily sit if this car has a uh, ultra modular seating uh, function available in on this vehicle on the b pillar guys for the rear passenger you get the ac vent on both the side then you get a handlebar which are not retractable they are fixed so over here as well the ac vent on the b pillar guys and also guys one add on feature in this particular vehicle you get a 12v charging socket for the middle row passenger as well so no uh, issue regarding the long trip and all and this is a blower speeder i mean knob for the b pillar ac vent so good i mean good comfort and convenience for the middle passenger as well guys not towards only the front cabin then the hand handlebars or uh, they are fixed not the retractable handlebars guys then this is the dashboard look for the front dashboard it looks very simple and clean you get a black and beige you get black piano finish so everything is focused very well on this particular vehicle three people can easily sit and seats are very soft cushioned knee room can be increased and decreased due to reclining option then this is the third row guys uh, some i mean 
things are kept over here so i cannot show you the third row guys but uh, you get a easy fix a seat option in this particular vehicle guys which is a very nice thing you get a easy fix seat option you can remove that and attach that anytime or when whenever you don't want it you can just remove those seats which are in the rear which are called easy fix seats and keep that at home so no issue regarding that guys so now that was all about the interior guys now let us just uh, i'll just show you from the other side as well guys yeah so to go in the third row you just have to simply take this uh, uh, seat in the front and just pull this lever so this seat will automatically fold on the i mean it will come automatically towards the front side then you can have uh, access to the third row guys so these are the easy fix seats guys you can just attach them whenever you need it whenever you want the vehicle to be seven seater or whenever you don't want you want the vehicle to be five seater you can just remove this and keep this in, at your home so which will be again a very nice thing guys so these all features are first in segment guys best in class so this particular mpv has been uh, i mean i guess it will be awarded for something because the best in class you get the space and everything so the reno has worked it very well towards the utilization and all guys and also regarding the boot space guys this particular car battery is low so the boot uh, lid cannot be open so i'll just tell you what is the boot space and all so regarding the boot space guys this car offers you 84 liters of boot space in seven seater condition and also guys if you fold the seats if you just remove those easy fix seats guys this will be best in segment you get 625 liters of boot space that is the best in class guys you can have that i mean that amount of boot space you can go anywhere on the long trip and also vehicle will be full loaded no issue regarding that lot of boot space and all and also you can increase the boot space if you want to go with six seater you can increase by 320 liters of boot space now let us just talk about the engine guys and see what the car has to provide us in terms of engine and all let us find out but guys before that if i talk about some safety features on this particular vehicle this car offers you anti-lock braking system child safety locks power door locks front impact beam side impact beams engine immobilizer crash sensor anti-theft device isofix child seat mounts and pretensioners with force limiter seat belts so guys those were some safety features on this particular vehicle i mean lot of safety feature guys so guys towards the safety size this particular vehicle is very good i mean you get lot of safety features and all so to open the getting back to the car to open the engine hood you just have to click uh, the lever i mean pull the lever over here so this car offers you 1000 cc 1.0 liter petrol engine three cylinder petrol engine which creates 71 bhp guys and max torque it is producing is 97 nm of torque guys and also guys this has a five speed manual transmission which is a front wheel drive particular vehicle so this is a washing fluid and everything over here coolant and all this is a battery on the right side guys so those were the engine specification and every component is neatly organized in the engine bay itself you get a installation also over here which decreases the engine noise into the cabin in inside the uh, car so this will decrease the engine noise and all so everything is neatly organized in the engine bay as well and you get a installation and everything so that was about the engine part guys so those were the specification features safety features and all then the interior exterior variants colors and everything i've discussed about guys so how did you like the car leave your thoughts in the comment section below and let me know what do you feel about this particular second top end variant and also guys i have done the top end variant review which is the rxz i'll provide the link on the right side or on the left side on the top you can go and check it out and watch it and also subscribe to the channel guys and let me know what i what do you feel about the car and also hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any amazing content so bye guys take care see you next time for another video bye guys Thank <laughs> you.